everybody welcome back to my channel so if you can't figure it out by today's setup we are going to be talking about makeup and I have a bit of a sore throat I don't know where it came from I guess it's maybe the time of the year so I am sipping on some tea I'm not spilling tea just sipping tea <sighs> helps a lot today's tutorial is all about flawless powder foundation that's what we're doing and that's what we're gonna get into right now. I like to start with this Shiseido, am I saying it right? Shiseido um, SPF 50 Wet For Sunscreen. Um, I really like this, let me shake it up, because it lays well under your makeup. Of course, sunscreen is super important to keep your skin nice and healthy um, and protect you from the sun, even under your makeup. And I really like that this is a little mattifying. It doesn't feel oily, and I don't feel like it makes my makeup oily. Um, I got this uh, Laura Mercier uh, Radiance Primer in my Sephora Play Box. Um, so I've been trying that out lately. I like it so far. I do feel like if you're a little, tend to be a little oily, like I tend to get sometimes, it doesn't control that as well as I would like. But I do feel like overall, it does a good job. You can really use whatever primer and products you like. I feel like this routine is more about the steps that you take in the application. So whatever products work best for your skin, that's what you should go with. Do you, boo. Do you. And I kind of like to just take a little pat after I put my primer on, just to pick up any extra. This next step may surprise you. We're gonna take a powder brush. This is the It Cosmetics Velvet Luxe Powder Brush. I love this one, it's so soft. It picks up product and holds it really, really well. You can get this at Ulta. And we're gonna take a little bit of translucent powder. I'm using the Makeup Forever translucent powder, so you can see here, it's not a ton that I have on the brush. And we're just gonna apply that. So yes, I am applying this on top of my primer. And I feel like this one gives your skin a really nice smooth finish. It also gives you a little oil control if you tend to get oily. And it gives you a really nice base to work with. I like this technique when I'm using powder foundation, not when I'm using liquid foundation because it can tend to drag a little more. Okay, it's gonna cause liquid products to drag just a little bit more. So I feel like for liquid foundation, it's not the best technique, but for powder foundation, I really, really like doing this. Now we're gonna move on to color correcting. This is a step that you can skip if you're just happy with coverage. If you want more of a flawless, seamless, all one color type finish, then this is a step that you can do it. Everything's okay. I'm just clumsy. So I'm using the Anastasia Contour Cream Kit. I'm gonna be using the coral color to color correct these spots on my face. And I'm using a Japanese foundation brush. This brush is really nice and dense and gives you some good coverage. I usually go right in here. This is where I find the spots are kind of harder to cover. Take a little on the other side. And I'm not using a ton of this. As you can see, it's a really light layer. At the end of the day, skin is skin. Nobody's skin is 100% perfect. So even if you do have some spots showing you through, it just makes you look natural. And by the way, my brows are holding up pretty nicely from the microblading video. So if you haven't checked that one out, um, be sure to check it out. It's my experience with microblading, the pain, and if it's worth, the hundreds of dollars it costs. So if you're interested in that, be sure to check that video out. I'm just dabbing over the areas where I applied that color correcting cream just to make sure I'm getting the excess off. I'm gonna be using two concealers. The first one I'm using is Deep Sand. It's color 535. And the second one I'm using is tan deep sand and it's color 
447s. Oh, wait, no, that's not 535. That's 53s and 47s. So here's how they look together. So the darker one I'm going to use to conceal any dark spots and kind of even out my skin tone. The lighter one is going to be my highlight shade. Now I'm using this foundation brush by Japanesque. I really, really love their brushes. I think that they're really good. Um, this is their flat foundation brush, but I like it when I'm applying concealer to large areas. Um, like my cheeks and my chin um, overall to conceal darkness. I feel it works really well. I'm just gonna pick some of that up with the brush. You can see it's just a very, very little bit that I have on this brush. Not a lot. And we're gonna go and just go right back over and pat it over those areas where we use the color correcting. If I don't have a ton of time, I'm done shortly after I do this. Because you have a really nice finish, you don't really need to do much else. But if you wanna be snatched, you have to stay tuned. You're gonna have to stay tuned. I, what else can I tell you? You're just gonna have to stay tuned. Now let's highlight those areas, the face where the light hits it, your high points. Um, again, I'm using that Tarte Concealer and I'm going in with a Japanese Concealer Brush. This is from the, um, I think it's like the Concealing and Baking Duo. So two brushes come in this set. This is the smaller brush. It's really dense um, and it gives you a nice application of your concealer. Everyone, has different areas of their face they want to highlight. So whichever areas that fit your face shape is where you're gonna to want to do this. I like to go under my nose, kind of above the lip area, just cause that area can appear a little dark sometimes. Um, and it's also why I don't like to use a concealer that's too much lighter than my skin tone because I don't want it to look crazy. Um, especially in that area and on my nose and right under eye. I only like to use cream contour on my nose. I don't like to use powder and cream um, because I feel like it can look too heavy and I'm not really trying to change my nose shape. I just want to make sure it has the same dimension that it would have when it's catching light and shadows. For my contour, I'm using the Anastasia Stick Foundation in the color um, Espresso. And I'm using just a tiny drill technique brush it, brush, brush it, <laughs> just one brush. Um, I'm just going in, as I said, I'm not doing a lot to the nose contour because I don't want a new nose shape. I just want to make sure that it kind of has the same look that it has without makeup because you know makeup can kind of make your face one dimensional if you don't add some sort of highlight and shadow. So that's all I'm really trying to do here. This is how it looks before I'm gonna go in and blend it with a beauty blender. For the under, I'm gonna be using two concealer brushes. So we're gonna stick with this Japanesque brush. I'm also gonna finish it off with this um, it Cosmetics Velvet Luxe Precision uh, Concealer Brush. I really like this brush because of the pointed edge. It really allows you to get in there in that corner of your eye and smooth everything out really, really nicely. The nice thing about this brush is how it allows you to really get into the corner. So I'm gonna get all up in your face so you can see what I mean. Once you're satisfied with your application, just take a sponge and kind of blot off the excess and smooth it out a little bit. I feel like this helps your powder lay and prevents it from kind of sticking into the concealer and clumping a little bit. Um, so I feel like that's a really important step to getting everything smooth under here. I'm still using that Makeup Forever powder and we're just gonna set this. Now I'm extra. So I use two setting powders. You don't have to. One translucent powder is good enough. And now I'm going in with the Laura Mercier um, Deep Translucent Glow Setting Powder. And I'm only using that in the corner just a tiny bit to add some brightness. 
gonna dust that excess off. And now using the second brush out of that Japanese baking duo, this is the larger brush. So it's kind of designed just like that smaller one we use for concealer, just with um, a larger surface area. And we're going to use banana powder. So I'm gonna go ahead and bake that on. You also wanna get the side of the nose, that top lip. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use the extra on my chin. And on my forehead. I like to go on my brow just a little bit because that area tends to get a little oily. I'm not going all the way down my nose, just about halfway and over into my brow where it gets oily. And this is gonna help kind of combat that. Now we'll do the other eye so we're not out here looking crazy. Another tea break and I spilled tea on myself. I mean, come on. Now we're gonna do a little cream contour on the cheeks. Go ahead and apply that. And I'm using another It Cosmetics Velvet Luxe brush. This is their um, contour brush that I'm using. So go ahead and apply that. And I'm using that same Anastasia foundation stick that I use for the nose contour. Now we're gonna take the Cover FX Matte Setting Powder. I'm using the color Deep. We're just gonna go ahead and brush that all over. Basically just setting those areas where we applied the concealer, um, like on the cheeks. And I like that this has a little tinge of color. So if you didn't want to apply foundation, I definitely think you could get away with just using this. This is the Cover FX. It's the Pressed Mineral Foundation in G100. I like this coverage. I feel like it's really buildable um, using the same powder brush. And I feel like it gives you kind of a nice smooth finish, which is what I really, really like about it. Get out of your hair. Now let's dust off that banana powder. And then we're gonna add a little bit of glow. I'm gonna go in with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Dim Light Powder. I'm using a Morphe um, brush. This came in a brush set, so I'm not sure exactly what number it is. But this powder, let me tell you guys, it gives you the nicest glow. It's hard to see on camera, but you can definitely tell in person. It's just ever so slight, you don't need a lot, and it just gives you such a nice like lit from within. I guess is the best way that I can describe it. For the powder contour, I'm using another Morphe brush from that same brush set. It's the pointed contour brush, and I'm using the Tarte and Makeup Shayla palette, which you can tell is pretty well loved. And we're just gonna Add a little more definition to the cheek here. And I'm gonna go in with that same angled contour brush that I used for the cream contour and um, do the rest of my face, so just a little. For all of these areas, I'm mixing um, the lightest and the deepest contour shades. My chin needs love too. All right, let's go on and bring some blush in, get some color on that face. I'm using this Anastasia Blush Trio. I'm gonna be using the colors Vegas and Scorching. This is from the Cocktail Party Trio. Um, so I'm gonna start with the darkest color, Vegas. Um, I'm using another brush from that Morphe Set, the Angled Blush Brush. And I'm just gonna go ahead and all over the cheek, use that deepest blush. I feel like blush is hard because if you overdo it, it looks horrible. Um, and if you underdo it, it's like, why did I even bother putting anything on? Because you can't see it anyway. Now I'm taking the It Cosmetics Blurring Powder Brush, and I'm gonna use that to apply my lighter blush shade. I know this probably isn't traditionally used for blush, but I do like the way that it applies the powder and spreads it. So I'm gonna use that middle shade, which is scorching, and I'm basically just gonna use that on the apple of my cheek that brighter shade. I'm going back to that Makeup Shayla palette and I'm using the number one highlight shade and a big Ulta fluffy powder brush. I'm just going to 
apply that in kind of a C shape. Not using a ton. I don't like a crazy, crazy highlight. I also like to build a highlight with different shades to add dimension. So um, now I'm gonna use this MAC Gold Deposit Mineralized Skin Finish. And I'm gonna use this Morphe Fan Brush and the Pat McGrath um, Skin Fetish. I love this one. This is uh, the Gold Kit Highlight. I like to use my finger for my nose when I do my last layer, just so I don't get too much. Now for my brows, my eyes, my lips, and my hair. I'll be right back. So this is the final look. I did my eyeshadow, as you can see. I'm not really sure how I feel about it. It didn't turn out exactly how I wanted. First time trying this color. Um, filled my brows a little, because the foundation gets in them, so they lose some of the definition. Um, of course, lipstick and hair. This is a look we've got going on. If you have any questions about any of the products, the brushes, um, techniques, anything I use in this video, don't be shy. Ask me in the comments, I'd be happy to answer any questions. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe so you never miss when I upload a new video. And I'll see you next time, bye.